short run supply curve of a profit maximizing firm now suppose firm is a price taker okay in in the product market suppose firm is a price taker and market price is say given by p dash huh now what is the demand curve for this firm what would be the demand curve for this firm it would be a horizontal line at p dash okay so how much uh, this this particular firm is receiving for selling any quantity the same amount so for example you just see this table okay that is suppose in case if i want to sell 1 2 3 4 5 units i can all sell them at 5 units each huh? that is at at 5 dollar per unit huh? So, for example, in, in this case, what would be my total revenue? My total revenue would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. So, how much this, this, this price taking firm is receiving for selling any amount of quantity? The same amount. Okay. That is $5. Even if I want to sell more, I'm selling it at the same price. I want to sell less, I'm selling it at the same price. Okay, this shows that this is a price taking firm. Now, what is the extra revenue this firm is making when it sells second unit, third unit, fourth unit, and fifth unit? Just, just five. Ten minus five is five. Five, five, and five. So, this, this firm is making the same amount of extra revenue when it sells these subsequent or the consecutive units. Hmm? So, you can label this curve probably as P dash equals to MR curve. Okay, let me just draw this curve here. It is P dash equals to MR curve. Fine, this is P dash equals to MR curve. Now, let us draw AC, AVC, and MC curves. Fine, that is. How would AC curve look like? How would AVC curve look like? So supposedly if your uh, if your AC curve is like this, this is your AC curve. Hmm. Then MC curve is cutting the AC curve at its minimum. And then there is an AVC curve also, which is cut by MC curve at its minimum. Hmm. So these are the three curves which you have. Now, where do you think the profit maximizing point is? Where do you think the profit maximizing point is? Profit maximizing point is where this P dash is equal to MC. This is the profit maximizing point. This is going to be the profit maximizing point where P dash is equal to MC. Say at Q dash. Actually, it should have been MR equal to MC. Hmm? Uh, you, you have seen this in your profit maximization exercises that uh, profits would be maximized at the point where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. But in this case, since the firm is a price taker, then uh, you, can, you can say this that actually MR equal to MC becomes uh, P equal to MC. Okay. Generally, it should have been, generally it should have been MR equal to MC. But in a competitive firm, MR is equal to P. So you can write P equal to MC in case of a competitive firm. So where P dash is equal to MC, that point, that output level is generating the maximum profit. Okay. So what are the level of profits at Q dash? Are they positive, negative or zero? Okay. Well, how will you come to know that what is the level of profits? So at Q dash, the firm is generating, this price taking firm is generating the positive profits. How do you know that? That is, uh, that is uh, how much revenue this firm is making. This firm is making the revenue of this 
this much okay i should rather use something else so it is this much is the revenue which the firm is making okay this much is the revenue the firm is making how much is the cost firm is making firm is making this much cost okay so what is the profit of the firm profit of the firm is profit of the firm is this rectangle okay this this portion is actually the profit of the firm now supposedly suppose price would have been p double dash instead of this p dash suppose in case if it if it would have been below ac say at at this point p double dash then what is the profit of the firm there won't be any profit of the firm okay profits would have been negative in that case profits would have been negative in that case hmm? i'll show you how you have uh, how much is the revenue the firm is going to make see in that case what will happen is this much is this is your price is equal to mr curve mc curve would be cut at this point you would be making q double dash as a profit maximizing point but this is the total cost a total revenue which you are having but what is the amount of the total cost you are having at this juncture the amount of the cost which you have is total cost is this much okay this is the amount of the total cost which you have this vertical line taken up till till it touches the ac curve and this is the amount of the cost which you have so what is the loss which you are making since cost is more than the profit this is the loss which you are making huh this is the loss which you are making so when price is less than the average cost you making a loss fine so you are you are making a loss at that point now the other point is that uh, what is the slope of the mc curve at the profit maximization point uh, that is at q dash at q dash what would have been the slope of this is the profit maximization point uh, this is the profit maximization point so at at q dash what is the slope of the mc curve okay um, let us do it little mathematically that is you know this that uh, by q is revenue minus cost so in order to find the critical point you take the first derivative which is p minus c dash q equals to 0 which will fetch you p equal to mc now the point is that this curve this this q q dash or whatever dash you are getting this would indeed be a profit maximization point you should have pi double dash q to be less than 0 so in case you if you differentiate it again you will be getting minus c double dash q this minus sign is already there now this expression minus c double dash q which is the double derivative of pi q it would be negative only in case if c double dash is positive so in case if c double dash q is positive you will have uh, you will have uh, pi double dash q as negative and your q or the critical point which you will which you will get from the first order condition would indeed be a profit maximization point okay so so what you, what you have gathered from there that you should have uh, you should have uh, 
the slope of the MC curve should be positive. Slope of the MC curve should be positive. What happens in case if you have a downward sloping MC curve or your P equals to MR curve, it intersects at the downward sloping MC curve portion. We'll, we'll see uh, to that in the next recording. And we'll also talk about that what exactly would be the short run supply curve for this particular firm.